In this one, let's take a look at finding the limit that looks like this. So the limit as x approaches here, 0 from the right of x, ln of x. So here there's a problem. If you try to plug 0 in there, you basically will end up with something that looks like this. I'm going to do a really fast sketch so you understand what the problem is. So example, I'm going to use color coding here. Imagine that the green curve represents ln of x. So you see that ln of x goes down towards negative infinity, like that, when you approach 0. From the right, ln of x goes towards negative infinity. That other curve, that's the x in front of it. I'm going to color code that. So that for example, it's in this color right here. So the other curve is the yellow curve. That approach is 0 right there. You see that? So the problem then is that you end up with this kind of competition that looks like this. You have basically 0 times negative infinity. So that's an indeterminate form. First, I'm going to rewrite this so that it looks like this. Let me separate this into panels. And I will say the limit as x approaches here is 0 from the right of ln of x over 1 over x. Now, I don't want this to seem arbitrary. And it isn't arbitrary because take a look. ln of x over 1 over x is equivalent to, by the basic rules of fractions, just writing the following instead. ln of x, and then you keep change, and then you flip the bottom so it becomes x over 1. You see, and it gives back that original expression over here, x ln x. You can just pretend the 1 doesn't even exist, right? It doesn't change anything. So it's ln x times x back for that reason. So once I know that this is the case, then after that, I can proceed as follows, limit as x approaches here 0 from the right. And now again, this is a problem. And the problem is that if you pretend, that you basically like pretend that you're plugging 0 in there, and then to the top and the bottom, you're pretending you're doing. Now you can't actually do that, right? Then you're going to end up with something that looks like this. Now you're going to have, again, negative infinity over like positive infinity, if you try to do that. So that's again a problem. That's telling you you got to take L'Hopital. So let's do L'Hopital next. So L'Hopital says, limit as x approaches here 0 from the right, and then you differentiate the top. So again, I'm going to color code here. So the top right now is ln of x. When you differentiate that using L'Hopital, it gives you 1 over x, and then the bottom there will be a different function. So imagine it's 1 over x. When you differentiate the 1 over x portion, it becomes negative 1 over x squared. And at this point, you simplify this as much as you possibly can. So that means specifically this. I'm going to say the limit as x approaches here is 0 from the right. And then you, again, keep change flip. It always goes back to basic fraction facts. So you keep the green one, you change the big division to multiplication, and you flip the bottom fraction so it becomes negative x squared over 1. At this point, you try to simplify this as much as possible. So let me do that now. So for example, like this x will cancel with that too, basically. And all that will really remain will be negative x. So let's do that as the next step right here. It becomes the limit as x approaches 0 from the right will be equal to negative x. And at this point, you can just plug 0 into this expression directly, and that's it. So when you do that, you end up with basically negative 0, which is 0. And therefore, the 0 is the value of the limit, just the way you see it. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like. I hope it's helpful. I'll see you in another video.